I'm not messing around with a long intro today. We're gonna build a lighthouse. Looks like it's too late for that fella over there. And we're gonna build it on this little island cause well, otherwise a ship's gonna crash on it, isn't it? And this is what it's gonna look like when we finish. Now you know this as I'm recording this. Unfortunately, I don't yet cause I've not built it. This is just a vocal. I don't have a clue what it's gonna end up like because I'm gonna make it up as I go along. I think it's time we start. I'm gonna start out with this palette, but things could get hairy and change up completely. But let's have a go. And this is the template that we're gonna use. That is a 17 wide circle there in the stone. Then we've got a 13 by 13 square, the largest one in the brick, and two seven by five rectangles that are gonna come off of the actual light keeper's house. It's time to start building, but not how you think, because a lighthouse is only any use if it stops a ship from crashing on the rocks. This is a load of sand. If a ship crashed here, it'd be a slight bump and then they'd have a picnic. So I need to create the rocky shore. It's time for a time lapse. Yes, early time lapse in the video. Stick through it, the building's gonna come afterwards. So sit back, relax, enjoy the music, and let's make a rocky shore. That is one rather nasty looking rocky outcrop. Don't run your ship into that, it is definitely going in the water. But don't worry, we're building a lighthouse so you'll see it for miles. And before we build the tower, I'm actually gonna build a house section. The light keeper's got a lift somewhere, right? So we're just gonna build out around this outline that I've already got here. That's a lot of four high walls around my building, but I need to change it up a little bit. It's just too uniform. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of granite. Yes, you heard me right, granite, and also some mud bricks. That makes it it look a lot more interesting. I've also put glass in the windows, otherwise that wind is gonna whip right through that house. And I've got a little step upside down above where the door's gonna be. However, inside, it's just sand. I'm not sure whoever's running this place is gonna want sand for a carpet, so we need to change that up right now. And I'm going for a classic, some stripped oak wood. That looks brilliant. And we're gonna stick a spruce door on the inside there because again, it's got no holes in it. We don't want any wind whipping through. This is on the seaside for goodness sake. I now need to start constructing the roof of this house. And it's potentially a little bit complicated. We have got three gables we need to deal with. One along this wall that I'm on now, and then two go in the other direction, the smaller one and the larger one. The larger one at one side going into the column of the lighthouse itself. So it's a little bit complicated, but I'm sure we can sort it out. I'm gonna use deep slate bricks to do the fronts of these gables. So I've come along to the side of the end and come out one and put a stair right there in deep slate brick. And I've extended the gables so they look like this. The two smaller gable ends are just a standard 12-12, that little triangle shape that's made out of backwards and forward steps and nothing else, same here. But this one, I've added three extra risers in with solid blocks. That gives this broad sweeping shape that I think is more interesting to this gable to be able to go into, but also gives plenty of clearance when this gable comes in sideways to it. And I'm gonna make the roof out of mud brick. It should complement the other bricks in the building and hopefully it'll all come together. And I think that works really, really well. And it also gives you a real good feel for the scale of the lighthouse and how big it needs to be. I have, however, had to put in that dormer gable because it was just too much mud brick. And what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna put in a little bit of packed mud every now and again just to give it an extra little bit of texture where these steps are it's probably 
too flat just to leave it with exclusively mud and this pack mud has a slightly different texture to it and as a result I think that's going to work quite well yeah that's loads better we're going to build up the circle of the actual lighthouse itself now I'm going to do a couple of layers of this mossy stone brick but I am going to slap in just a little bit of normal stone brick in there as well and the odd bit of stone and then we'll turn into actual stone brick and stone and we might just give it a little bit of cobble every now and again to give it some texture but a very very little bit I'm going to go up a decent amount of distance with this type of color because we're not going to turn it into that classic red and white lighthouse until we get up a couple of levels so that is the first level done and that's where the stone stops and the color starts I'm now going to continue up this lighthouse for quite a few more blocks it's gradually making the circle smaller as I go and to be able to do that I'm going to inset with these steps so as we've got a nice platform going around the outside that naturally decreases the size of the circle circle by a full two in its diameter and we're going to start with white and now we've got one set of each color each of them seven blocks tall I'm going to use these acacia steps to go round the outside in the same way as we did with the deep slate steps earlier so you should get something that looks a little bit like that we're starting to see some gaps as the circle gets smaller but these edge ones here I've turned the corner and then we're going to do exactly the same thing white and red do it again white and red so we've got another two layers of the two colors and that lighthouse really Really is massive. Now we're at the top level I'm going to create four little balconies using this acacia slab. I was going to go all the way around and create one big circular balcony but it looks really messy. So I've decided I'm going to do four separate balconies in the north, south, east, west directions. So it looks like that. Then using some stripped acacia wood I'm building up the frame of the top of the lighthouse. Now I need to include quite a lot of glass with this otherwise the light's not going to get out but I also want to make sure that it's well structured with this wood. And I'm also going to exchange out that for acacia planks just so we got consistency across the platforms. So I've created this arch shape with a three high pillar on the top and that is the only thing that's going to be holding the roof of this thing on because everything else is going to be glass. And once I finish the glass I'm going all the way around it again with this stripped acacia. I'm going to build a floor out of stripped acacia as well all the way across at the same level as the openings. Now I am not the king of redstone so I've made this up and it is not going to be efficient so do not judge me. I can already see you in the comments judging me. But how this works we have got a tower of four redstone lamps in the bottom two. We've got a repeater going in and then out again on four ticks on each corner. We've then got a redstone line including five bits of redstone going around in that direction. We've then got a tower above it two blocks higher repeating exactly the same process. This is because if you power the bottom redstone lamp it will also power the top redstone lamp through something called quasi connectivity. I've got a super simple redstone clock using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven repeaters again all sat on four ticks. That redstone lamp is on which fires that repeater which turns that block powered which turns that lamp off and that goes around and around and around. I've got an observer looking at this air gap here, an observer here looking at that piece of redstone down there and it's got a piece of redstone on its redstone bum at the back. If I put a torch on this face here that is going to set off that observer. It's also going to be on that's going to send a signal around this circuit so as it turns it on and off and on and off. It's probably best I just show you. So I place the torch there, that gets a little redstone flick coming out of that bum and another redstone fart comes out there and you can see it is sending a signal around both of those circuits and the circuit is synchronized meaning it's going around the bottom at the same time it's going around the top. It's actually a thing of beauty. I'm surprised that even works but look you can see just about each corner is lighting up at the same time and the circuit is going around and around and around just like in a lighthouse all I need to do now is put a roof and I'm going to use acacia and perhaps some other colors as well to go around the top here and create a bit of a dome and I think that done not too bad I've added in a few windows filled them up with glass and that tower is now done I do however still need to do all the gable ends on this house and put some window sills in and we're going to do that with a little bit more stripped oak and I do believe we are done. You'll be able to see this lighthouse for absolutely miles out into the sea. No chance of you hitting these rocks and it looks just as good at night time as well. 
I'd really love to see what you could do with this. Change up the palette, see if it looks any different. Maybe don't make it red and white, it's very traditional, but it doesn't have to do it that way. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter, it'd be great to see what you build. The turtle seems to like it. The shattered savannah backdrop makes it look even better. I reckon I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what else you'd like me to try and have a build at, and I'll certainly put it on my list, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.